Okay, so this is the second fucking time I've recorded this, and uh, because I didn't fucking do airplane mode, I might no, it's too. You can't be like this this early. Anyway, so I'm kind of pissed off now, but I do have more of a sense of what I want to say now, because I do feel like I kind of babbled a bit, uh, you know, in the initial re recording. So. Sennheiser, HD, the fucking HD 458PTs, I don't do wireless, I don't do Bluetooth, I don't really care for it, I don't give a shit, I've got like three fucking amplifiers on my table here, you kind of know what I'm fucking into, so I was kind of tentative in, you know, doing reviews on Bluetooth headsets, because there are a lot of features that these have that I just don't give a shit about. Uh, I don't want to walk around fucking listening to music on the streets, I like to be aware of my surroundings. Um, the active noise cancelling kind of pisses me off, but I'll, I'll get to that as well. Overall, it's not really a niche that I'm into, but I can still review it as far as the sound goes, because that's kind of my thing. So, yeah, Sennheiser, HD458BTs. Let's uh, get to the box. So, as far as the box goes, this is the box. It's a nice, small, simplistic little fucking box. It, 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 got, it has a lot of fucking info that you really don't need. Qualcomm, Aptex, Aptex, whatever the fuck we call it. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later on as well. But that's also a thing. And overall, just a small little box. And inside the box, what you would get is, you get the cans. Uh, they'll be fucking flipped in like this. And they'll be in this little packaging right here. Not packaging, little bag, a carry bag. It's, so it leaves somewhat to be desired. It's not like the most premium fucking bag. But again, it's not like the most expensive fucking Bluetooth noise cancelling headphone. Uh, you get this cable, which is a pretty sick fucking cable, uh, the, which one of the reasons I kind of decided to do this, because they give me the option of uh, connecting it via a 3.5mm analog connection to a fucking amp, which is awesome. I'm going to get to that in the sound. This is a good added fucking feature, honestly. Like, they should just do it with all those. All these. And then the Bluetooth cable, which terminates into a USB type fucking C, which all things should. Fuck other, fuck micro B, fuck all the others. Type C, all the things. Like, just get with the fucking times. So that's the bag, um, and that's the box. Easy peasy. Not really, no fuss, no muss, what the fuck. And there's a bunch of reading material in there, which I honestly couldn't give a shit about. So, the build. These, again, not much of a basis for comparison, but these feel nice. They don't feel astonishingly premium. They just feel nice. They feel Sennheiser-y levels of nice. Um, no crackly, no fucked up sounds. The overall finish on the paint job, or this whatever this is, feels nice. It doesn't leave, you know, it doesn't do fingerprints. One thing about the build, either they should have made this thicker, because, or they should have made it softer and deeper, because fuck the headband like that. That shit should just go piss off. Because it's not really that soft, and it doesn't go really that deep, and it's like a vicious-ass rubbery fucking material. So if I, you, you kind of feel, like if you've got hair on your head, which I don't have a lot of, but when you take a piece of rubber and you like fucking scrape it over that, you know that fucked up feeling? Like, this can do that. Like, keep it fucking still on your head. So either they should have changed the fucking material and made it deeper, or made this fucking thicker and still change the fucking material because fuck this rubber. The the cups, the cups are a bit on the small side. Um, it's kind of like they wanted your ear to go inside there to, for a uh, the seal, maybe. I don't, I don't know, but yeah, it's it's a bit on the small side. But the cup, the, the pads are nice. So like they they they're they're soft yet firm. They spring back. Uh, definitely a memory foamy type of substance over here. And it, I, I can roll with this. It's, it's really, it does feel, it doesn't feel that bad. And, you know, as far as the ear goes, if you've got extremely small ears, then they're still going to fucking touch your ears. But this feels deliberate. This, this feels by design. Once I have it on my face and I forget about this bullshit, then they start to settle in and then they're fine. So it's not a big deal. They're not uncomfortable by any stretch of the imagination. Just fuck this bad. Uh, rest of the build, again, like I said, no crackly bullshit like that, just your standard clicky out, it goes, extends quite a bit, so pretty fat faces can be accommodated. And, uh, yeah, the rest is nice. Um, the fucking 
buttons and shit are on the right hand side, which uh, I don't know if that's the norm for Bluetooth shit. But I do know usually with most headphones, if they're going to do a single ended on the one side cable, they'll usually put it on the left hand side. Not with this. Uh, this is on the right hand side. So it might feel a bit weird in the beginning if you're used to standard headphones. Um, you've got your fucking volume switch right here. You've got your up and down for the fucking uh, switching the track. I'm going through this with the build because I don't really care about this shit anyway. Like I'm going to. I need to speak about the sound, but, you know, you can skip your tracks and shit like that. You can call up your fucking, um, your assistant, if you really want to do that. And then you got your power button. The power button doubles as a connection button, uh, actually triples as a connection button, and a, obviously, an on-off fucking switch, and the ANC on and off, if I'm not mistaken. It's either this one or this one, but I know one of them calls the fucking Google Assistant, or Siri, whatever the fuck you're connecting it to. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the two and a half mil lock, uh, quick thing. It's a lock in fucking mechanism thing where it just, this is, because the first time I plugged it in, I thought it was in. And then I plugged it into the amp and I was like, Jesus Christ, this sounds shitty. This sounds donkey balls. And then I was like, oh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm the dumbass. You should lock and fucking load like most things are. But overall, build and feel, I think this is quite adequate. And the fact that it does this, Again, I don't care for it. I don't fucking really worry, but either way, it should fit in the fucking bag. So, you know, this makes sense. You should do this. Sound. And this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to do this, because uh, these things tend to be extremely, especially if, it, if it's from a reputable brand and not extremely cheap, they tend to be, the drivers and the overall setup tend to be r and d to such an extent where, like, the DAC... And the amp are very much fucking uh, designed to work with these drivers. And these drivers are tuned to, to suit the fucking DAC and the amp uh, because they want a specific sound. They want to come out of these fucking cans for, you know, for their personal sound signature, which I'm going to describe now. The, the, the sound signature from these, uh, from the Bluetooth now putting it all flat on the phone, no EQ bullshitty shit like that. I don't know if there's an app, I don't care. If there is, I don't want to fucking fiddle with apps all day long. Just connect it and play, and it worked like that. No matter which music player I played, it, it, it plays as an extension from your phone, whatever, going out. The sound on these, I would... So, say, for example, the low, mids, and the highs, uh, here's the, there's a straight line, because they're fairly on the flattish side with a little bit of a up tilt, on the upper mid, the upper highs, and then a slight drop, just a slight drop on the bass. I would call these bass light, not bass fucking anemic PC37X, bass fucking non-existent Sennheiser drop PC37 fucking X. Um, yeah, so I would call these bass light. Again, little bass, but not a lot. Just, just a little bit. But... Here's when the frustration truly set in. I connected it to each one of these three amps that I have on the fucking table. I have the fucking Doke Audio Tube fucking DAC amp combo thing. I have the KO, uh, KO, KO, what the fuck? The FIO K3, uh, the, like the mobile little thing. It's technically a desk amp, but it's pretty fucking sick. And I've got the SMSL SP200, the high powered one. Connected to a Modi 2. And I'm going to go in the order from the most shit to best. Because these are extremely amp slash DAC sensitive. Like, like to silly fucking levels. Okay, and that's a bit frustrating. Because uh, I've heard about audio file level gear doing that. Like, this is just fucking next goddamn level. So, basically, what, what happened here is... I connected it to the fucking FIO. And I've connected fucking LCD2 classics on that. And they sound great. Even with the bass boost on, fucking sweetness of sound. These sounded uh, fucking shit. Uh, fucking donkey balls. Horse shit. They, it sucked. I don't know fucking why. They sucked ass. I don't know where the fucking problem is. Don't do that, okay? Then I connected it to the SMSL. And it's like they took, the line was somewhat squiggly, mostly flat uh, with the highs and the, like, the lows. And it's like, 
Like you take a fucking floppy dildo and just pull on it, just straighten that shit up. Uh, and that's that's what kind of what it did. It, it flattened out everything beautifully. It lifted a bit of the bass. It dropped a bit of the high end, which the high end wasn't uh, sibilant or squealy, I'd say, but just a slight drop, as it still being awesome, but not overly crystalline type of sounding, and just up the bass a little bit. It can use more, but up it a little bit, which I and that's fine. Like it really, it, it, it that's actually. A good fucking compliment. A com compliment? Yeah, I'd say a compliment to these. Then I connected them to the tube amp, and that was just fucking nice. Okay, not sublime, it, but the warmer tones kind of work with this because it lowered the high end a bit more than these did, but they're still clear, and it upped the high, the lows even more. And that's when I started to get like pretty decent lowish tones from these, like. Nothing mind-shattering, nothing that's going to vibrate the fucking cans on your head, but it really, it feels like, it felt like the drivers now really came alive. Um, and that really, that, that was like fucking nice. The, the, the main problem is the fact that it's so sensitive to the different fucking inputs. I don't know if it's on the amp side or the DAC side or a combination of the fucking two, but yeah, it's just, they accommodated, they were accommodated much better with that for my sounding experience, but on the SMSL, which is kind of known for being very fucking, you know, just whatever the fuck comes in, just push it out there, you know, very flat, very level type of amp. It, it helped. Not that it kind of needed it. And that's also one of the things that kind of pisses me off because I'm afraid they make the onboard fucking setup so good that this just starts becoming an afterthought. Like, oh, if your battery's dead, then you can do this, which is a nice thing. Please do it. But it's not like, oh, if you want to really test this shit out, connect it to a fucking amp. No, they're not going to fucking advertise it as such. I'm the only stupid asshole that's going to fucking do that. And yeah, so basically what I'm saying, really only use that when, uh, when required because... It unless you have a nice combination of DAC and amp to connect to it, you're either going to ruin it or it's just going to sound like somewhat fine. So what I'm trying to say is the onboard sound through the Bluetooth connection is very much adequate. It's it's a bit bass light, but overall it's nice. It's 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 I can roll with this. It's nothing to really write a home about in the sense of. Fucking blew my mind. Nothing blew my mind here. What, what, I, what I would say, actually, th this feels like a good comparison. I'd say these are very much on par with high-end fucking um, gaming headsets, like nice high-end shit, like 200 bucks plus Astros, fucking SteelSeries Arctis 7s and Arctis Pros. I've had, a, I've had a pair of Arctis 9s and 7s on my head. They sounded fine. Very much like this. Uh, kind of the same feel. Um, fucking, I don't know whatever, high-end gaming shit, HyperX 2s, I guess, I've never had them on my face, but either way, they sound like very high-end gaming headsets, which is not a diss, it's a compliment, it's really, it's fine, like, if you're gonna go gaming, you might as well go fucking all out, you're never gonna sound as good as a pair of same price fucking Fidelios that you can amplify with pretty much anything, you're never gonna sound like that, not in my opinion, or just opinion overall, so I'm not gonna sound like that, but it sounds good. I'm happy with the sound. And you'll be too. Uh, especially if you're going to be walking around and just not really think too hard about what it sounds like. Then that's going to be awesome. Summary. So as far as the summary goes, I checked it up. These are 150 bucks now on Amazon. Please note, the red fucking accents are only on the 458s. You get the 450 BTs, which are a bit more expensive for reasons fucking unknown. I don't know if it's a market thing, more capitalism thing, where they marketed these towards more, say, Middle Eastern, African type of market, so make them a bit cheaper. But it's basically the same goddamn thing, and you can get the 450s here either way. So I don't know why you would pay more for the 50s when you get these, and I don't, I'm not aware of any fucking difference in uh, um, functionality and shit like that. So I don't know why the fuck that's the case. The red and black looks cool. Uh, oh yeah, the Aptics. Aptics, what the fuck? This is a Qualcomm thing, the technology, proprietary, whatever the fuck, wireless connection thing. 
And if you have an Android phone, you probably have a Qualcomm in, unless it's like an Eastern thing with MediaTek and, you know, shit like that and whatever Huawei is doing with the Karen chips. You have a Qualcomm chip in, it connects faster and the latency is lower and a bunch of other nice things. Um, it doesn't mean it fucks up the connection to, say, for an example, an iPhone. The owner of these has an iPhone. And it's uh, it's fine. Whatever. I don't really see a difference. Maybe I don't know all the nuances about what aptics is or whatever. But, yeah, that's a thing. Lower latency, I guess. I still wouldn't fucking game on it. Like, just, if you're going to game with these, treat them like a true honest-to-God gaming headset. Just fucking connect them via cable. And there you go. The mic. The mic sounds shit. Uh, it's not really... It, it's fine. Okay, fine. Maybe I'm being a dick because, you know, I'm, again, a bit of a snob. Just get a USB mic and get over with. But, yeah, uh, it's not the best mic ever. But hopefully you kind of saw that coming. I don't know. But if you do shit... You're not buying this and thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to run fucking self-help course seminars to millions of people through this built-in mic over here. No, you're not. It sounds better on the PC through Teams and shit like that for some reason than over your phone. I don't know why. Some sort of weird interaction there. Screw the mic. It's just, it's fucking extremely mediocre. Like, fuck the mic. The ANC, again, I don't really care for ANC because it, uh, that feeling that I get with closed back where the, the frequency of my fucking voice starts creating, sorry, starts creating this humming sound feel in my ears, uh, putting on the ANC fucking just amplifies that to oblivion. It's it really a trip balls that sucks. Like, fuck ANC, but it works. Like the, the, the air, air conditioning is on and it's got that standard drony thing. And the moment you put it on, it's, it's gone. You can still hear people's voices and sudden sounds. The technology is not that impressive. If you know how ANC works, which I'm not going to explain, you'll understand why that's really a bit of a difficult task. Um, but co constant background humming, drony type of sound, it cancels out completely. I don't know if it's the best. I don't really care. I have another pair of edifiers uh, that I'm going to get a, a loan unit from a friend as well. Maybe I'll just listen to that ANC and think, you know, just decide whether which one is best. But fuck ANC. This is about the fucking sound experience. And speaking about the sound experience, for 150 bucks, um, with all the added features of being mobile and being able to connect and all the other stuff, it's not really that bad. You can get a better sound, exclusively just talking about sound, you can get it better for even a little bit less than 150. But for the entire package, yeah, I'm fine with this. This is this is fine. Uh, for the entire package, this is good. Um, Again, not for me. I'm not going to be fucking buying anything like this. I don't care for it. These I got free in a fucking... With a phone. Just basically in the box. So... And I use these from time to time, but less as of late. Because I just don't... If I'm going to listen... If I want to listen to my music and enjoy my music, I'm going to fucking enjoy it on this equipment right here with a nice pair of cats, okay? But for what these are, they're fine. I can... I'm fine with these. It's good times. And the price is not that bad either. I don't know if I missed anything, but I, I think I... Oh, yeah. Uh, it can be switched off whilst being connected. But it can also be switched on whilst being connected to the cable. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, you can actually put the ANC on and off whilst it's being fed from an amp externally. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if that was a deliberate feature, but it's there, and the fucking, it's cool. That's your deal. You still want the ANC but connected to your sick-ass tube, you know, go do that. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, instead of blabbering on more, I approve of this. Not going to recommend buying it, but I approve. Because I'm pretty sure XM4s, XM5s, fucking Bose 700s, fucking JBL, whatever the fuck they have, Apple AirPods, fucking Max GTX Pros, they're not going to be... I, I can't imagine they're that much better than this. Like, how much better can you go with that powering it from a fucking battery? You know, it's inside there. And, you know, still keeping with, you know, having adequate battery life, which these apparently have. I didn't really test it that much on the battery. I'm sure it's fine. Whatever number's there, 
fucking whatever number they give you, 25% off. There you go. That's a realistic number, which it usually is the case for most of these things. So there we go. Sennheiser HD 458BTs. They're fine. Till the next video. Blah, blah, blah.